We are here to celebrate our kindergartners and graduating from kindergarten today. So thrilled that you are here with us. It's gonna be a great celebration and we're gonna get it started right away with your wonderful principal, Mrs. Shannon Horton. Good morning. I'm so excited to see you all. I can't believe how much you've all grown since the last time we saw you. Welcome to kindergarten graduation. It's been a really interesting semester. If this is your first child in school, then the good news is you don't know any different. This is normal to you. So very excited. All right, so we're going to begin by announcing the kindergarten graduates' names. Rebecca Andrade de Oliveira. Olivia Belmonte. Damian Chavez. Paige Daniels. Abigail Garcia. Allison Garcia, Amy Gonzalez, Zoe Juarez, Quinn Just, Manuel Lopez, Dallas Ortiz, Yorseli Halifax, Davi Medeiros, Mia Ponce, Elisa Ribeiro, Nathan Rodriguez, Isaiah Ruiz, Anthony Era, Isaac Chandler Turner, Bo Covington, Laura De Silva. Grace Harris, Nathan Howard, Braley Hudnall, Yua Kurakawa, Chelsea Ledbetter, Diego Madrid, Jessa McIntyre Hunt, Jeremiah Mendez, Tristan Paniagua, Mia Soto, Marcos Vasquez, Gael Yu, and Maria Elisa Zeni. Congratulations to our graduates. Very exciting. All right, I am going to um, ask Mr. Harvey to please unmute Ms. Greenwood, and she's going to present an individual award to each of her students. Good morning, kindergarten. I'm so glad to see everybody today. I'm so glad to be here. I wish I could be there in person, but at least I can see all your little faces and all your proud parents over the phone or the computer. Um, so I'm going to be presenting our class awards for this year and I am so excited because all of you have done a great job um, learning so much this year. You have um, just been so um, competent and working hard and motivated to learn new things. So we're going to start with Rebecca Andrade de Oliveira. So, Rebecca gets the Impeccable Improvement Award because she has shown so much growth in her English language and her academic abilities. Yay, Rebecca! Olivia is receiving, Olivia Belmonte is receiving the Handwriting Award because she always does her very best and takes her time to write neatly. Yay, Olivia! Damien Chavez gets the Super Scientist Award for his constant curiosity and for excelling at science. He will also receive the Perfect Attendance Award. 
Yay, congratulations, Damien. Paige Daniels is getting the Wonderful Writer Award for excelling in writing. Yay, Paige, congratulations. Um, Abby Garcia is getting the Amazing Attitude Award for always being cheerful and willing to work on whatever assignment we are doing. Congratulations, Abby. Sorry, that was, yep, yeah, Abby, yep. Allie uh, Garcia gets the Attentive Listener Award for always listening carefully and participating in class discussions. Yay, Allie, congratulations. Amy Gonzalez is getting the Quality Worker Award for consistently turning in quality work. That's so important, Amy. Great job. Zoe Juarez gets the Master Mathematician Award for excelling at math. Congratulations, Zoe. Quinn Just is getting the Bright Bookworm Award for excelling as a reader. Congratulations, Quinn. Uh, Manuel Lopez gets the Super Reader Award for excelling as a reader as well. He has grown so much this past year. Great job, Manuel. Dallas Ortiz gets the Totally Trustworthy Award for his honesty and dependability. I can always count on him to be doing the right thing at the right time and at the right place. Congratulations, Dallas. Yoricelli Palafox is getting the Kindness Counts Award for being kind and compassionate to all her classmates. She also will receive the Perfect Attendance Award. Congratulations, Yoricelli. Davi Pessoa Mediros gets the Positive Pal Award for always having a great attitude and being a great friend and helper to his classmates. Congratulations, Davi. Next, we have Mia Ponce Rubio, and she is going to get the Terrific Tutor Award for her academic prowess and her willingness to help her classmates with an assignment if they need help. Congratulations, Mia. Elisa Rivero gets the Amazing Artist Award because she's a talented artist and she loves to draw. Congratulations, Elisa. Nathan Rodriguez is going to get the Rockstar Reader Award for the most hours on Raz Kid in, in my class. Congratulations, Nathan. Way to go. Isaiah Ruiz is getting the Perseverance Power Award for never giving up even when it's hard and showing so much growth from where he started. So that is all for my class. Let's give Isaiah a round of applause and now let's give the whole class a round of applause. Excellent, excellent. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. I have loved being your teacher this year. I have got to watch you show so much growth um, in every single student, and I wish I could just give you a big old hug. Everybody just hug, hug, hug. Okay, um, I'm going to pass it over to Mrs. Kruger, who is going to uh, share her awards for her class. Good morning, everybody. I see how nice everyone is dressed, and I see these big smiles. I love it. Oh, I was so confused, though, because I looked out and I didn't see my kindergartners. I see a whole bunch of big old first graders now staring at me. It's just crazy. All right. So, are you guys ready for our awards? First, Anthony Ara, you are getting the award for memorization mastery. You showed us that you know numbers you and letters and you just, anything we put before you, you wrote it into your brain. Good job, Anthony. And Isaac Chandler Turner, you get the award for your super science skills. You were a master scientist, trying out things, finding questions and their answers. Great job, Isaac. Next, Bo Covington. Bo Covington gets the Enthusiastic Learning Leader Award for always raising his hand and helping to show his friends how to learn and being a good leader with that. 
Next is Laura Da Silva. And Laura Da Silva gets the Awesome Artist Award. She put so much detail into her pictures and made them look lifelike and always used her three star coloring. Great job, Laura. You're a wonderful artist. Next up is Grace Harris. And Grace Harris gets my Imagine Math Star Award for being one of the top people on Imagine Math and showing great math skills in class too. Great job, Grace. And next is Nathan Howard. And he also gets the Imagine Math Star Award for being one of my top Imagine Math performers and for being great, a great mathematician in class. Great job, Nathan. And then my Braley Hudnall, you are my math mastery star for showing your understanding of math problems and being able to help your friends with our math work. Great job. Next up is Yua Kurakawa and she gets the Super Science Skills Award for asking great questions in science and working to find the answers. And she also gets our Perfect Attendance Award. Great job, Yua. Next up is Chelsea Ledbetter. Chelsea Ledbetter gets the Raz Kids Rockstar Reading Award for being our girl with the highest amount of Raz Kids reading time, for how much she's grown in reading and just being a great reader overall. Good job, Chelsea. Next is Diego Madrid. Diego gets my Super Citizenship and Character Award for always being a good listener, a good friend, and doing the right thing in class. Great job, Diego. Next up is Jessa McIntyre Hunt. And her award is my Thorough Thinker and Problem Solver Award. I could always see her raising her hand after she had thought of the answers and she was ready to solve the problems that came up in class. Great job, Jessa. Next up is Jeremiah Mendez and he gets my Math Mastery Award. He was great at all of my math problems and coming up with the answers for them and helping friends when needed and doing a great job in all of our math work. Great job, Jeremiah. Next is Tristan Paniagua. Tristan gets my Perfect Penmanship Award. He did such a great job always making sure that his letters and numbers were right. I could read his writing. He always does his best. Great job, Tristan. Next up is Mia Soto. And Mia Soto gets my Super Citizen and Character Award for always being a good listener, a good friend, a good helper, and doing the right thing. Great job, Mia. Next is Marcos Vasquez. Marcos Vasquez gets my Outstanding Leadership Award. Marcos from day one was a great leader in our class, knowing what to do and helping others to do it too, always being someone I could go to to set an example. Great job, Marcos. Next is Gael Yu. And Gael gets my Raz Kid Rockstar Reading Award for being the boy with the highest amount of Raz Kids reading time, for doing a great job in growing and reading and just being an overall great reader. Good job, Gael. And finally, we have Maria Zinni. And Maria gets my wonderful writing award. Maria was a great author and illustrator in class. Anytime we had a writing assignment, I could always see her putting in her best work and making good sentences to read. So that's my class. I am so proud of you guys. I'm giving you a big round of applause. Woohoo! Way to go, kindergarten! 
you guys did so good this year. I would like to give an award, I think, to everybody here for being the best kindergarten group, for putting their best foot forward and getting their work done and doing their best and having a good attitude and a good smile. I hereby officially award that to every single kindergartner. That's just me. Good job, guys. Okay, we have also asked Mrs. Kruger to read something special for our graduates. So Ms. Kruger, whenever you're ready. All right, this is a kindergarten graduation poem and it was written by Stella J. Cook. It says, it seems like only yesterday that you came into our school ready for new adventures and learning all the rules. Our year together is over. It seemed to go so fast. We have to let you go now into a whole new class. We've enjoyed our time together, seeing all the ways you've grown. We know now that you're ready to call first grade your home. We are all so proud of you and the accomplishments you have made. You have filled our hearts with joy as we learn each and every day. We will miss you when you leave us. We have enjoyed the time we've had. You mean so very much to us. And we treasure the times we've shared. So be ready now to graduate. And from kindergarten, you will go and into the first grade to show everything you know. Yay. Thank you, Ms. Krieger. That was wonderful. Parents, we would be remiss if we did not recognize your contribution this semester in the education of your children. And I have a special thank you that I want to read to you. For all that you did this year in your home, for the sacrifice of time, attention, and effort, for making a million little split second decisions for the benefit of your child, for putting your own needs and responsibilities on hold and keeping them the focus of your day, for teaching them long before quarantine ever got rolling, for changing your plans because of unexpected life-altering events, for smiling, laughing with them, reassuring their efforts, trials, and mistakes, for reaching out to teachers for help and modeling character and work ethic, by learning new technology and reminding yourself of long forgotten lessons, for encouraging, hugging, and being patient with your child because that was exactly what they needed. For all that you've contributed before, during, and after this period of home learning, parents matter. Yes, you matter. Thank you very much. All right, thank you, Mrs. Fortin. Congratulations to all of our graduates. That was certainly exciting to hear all of the ways that you added to your classrooms this year. And I have one very special award left today. And this award is for a teacher. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the award and about the teacher and see if you can figure out who this award goes to. The name of the award is the Elizabeth Schaefer Lifetime Teaching Award. And it's named after a very special lady who um, was a teacher and an administrator for UME Preparatory Academy. And she was a master teacher. Um, she loved children and she loved teachers. And so we have chosen to give this award to one teacher in our district each year that exemplifies the character traits of Elizabeth Schaefer. So I'm gonna tell you about this teacher and see uh, scholars, see if you can figure out who it is. This teacher is one of the best teachers it has been our privilege to work with. She is so very creative and purposeful in her classroom. She truly loves all of her students, past, present, and future. We have never been in her classroom when it was not completely obvious that learning was happening in a really fun way. She uses every available moment and opportunity to teach something, whether content or character. She is an expert at moving the kids without actually going anywhere. Her tireless energy amazes us, and yet her demeanor is so approachable, kind, and laid back. Her classroom is an ideal 
showing a joyful balance of fun and self-control. Her caring patience for even her most challenging students is a model of what every teacher should exhibit. Her classroom management is always redemptive in nature, intended to help her scholars to be better people and to learn from their mistakes, and her students adore her. She is also the anchor of her academic team. She encourages, inspires, assists, and supports her fellow teachers. Her competitive spirit is always up for a challenge, no matter how trivial. She loves to have fun and approaches every task with humor and gladness. She is always positive, and when she needs to express a concern, she brings a possible solution with it. She is a good friend, a great leader, and an exemplary teacher. We are so blessed to have her as part of our UME family of teachers, and this award goes to Mrs. Kelly Kruger. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, oh, Kelly. <laughs> Congratulations, Mrs. Kruger. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we're all a little teary, so <laughs> we're so, so pleased to give you this award. And do you want to say something this morning? I don't know if I can say anything at this point. <laughs> We just love you and appreciate everything that you have brought to our team, our school, and our students. And uh, we are honored to be able to recognize you and your contribution to you and me. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, I love you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> we love you. We're having a hard time holding it together. <laughs> we love you so much and we appreciate you. And I just want to say to, as Mrs. Horton said, thank you to the families, the parents. This has not been a typical year but you have worked so hard to be supportive. And students, you have worked so hard to do your very best in a very unusual situation. So we are very, very grateful and want to celebrate you today. So you guys celebrate at home and have a great time and a wonderful summer. Thank you very Bye. much. Bye. Bye guys, we love you.